Okay, y'all, this will be part two because I'm not sure why this does this sometime. I don't feel like that it's overly, um, like I went over the limit. This is so close. I've got to make myself a better filming area. That's going to be my new goal. But anyway, so we're talking about things to take you from daytime to nighttime. And I had reinforced the lip. I've reinforced the liner under my eye. But let's say you want to do something a little bit stronger. And one of the things that I really love lately that I did not do a tutorial. And people would say, well, you have to start from scratch. No, you don't. You can start from where you're at. And I'm just going to use something a little louder. And glitter is always a little louder. Brie, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. She wants me to get the ball, and I don't see it. Anyway, so I'm going to use the Stila um, Molten Midnight. And this is a liquid, high, high, high glitter product. And this is what I would say about it. This is great to use right on the lid. So I'm going to go ahead and do that where you can see it. This is very high glitter. And this is almost like a black with silver glitter. And that alone, now just it's not dry yet. So as I look up at you and blink, um, it's going to kind of go a little into the crease, and that's okay. Now I'm using the other side. Bray, no. She's getting very angry. And I'm not playing with the ball, but I don't see it. I don't know where it is. Now, don't go underneath the eye, too. Just stay right on the lid. And that gives you that little extra pop of something. Now, you could take, um, if you want to, you can take a... Um, um, brush and blend it out a little into the crease if you want to but just me looking down and then looking up and then looking down and looking up what that's doing is that's spreading that just a little bit into the crease naturally and that's really the only effect that I want so if I look down you can see it's very sparkly and if I look across you can see it's very sparkly but it's still subtle and it definitely dressed it up another thing you can do is just add a little extra hairspray or take your hair up like, you know, um, maybe take from the sides and up like that and then just, you know, have a little bit dressier look that way. You can put your hair all the way up or you can just use a lot of hairspray in this back area and really fluff it up and bring it forward and just, I don't have hairspray handy somewhere. Either. But anyway, so that's another thing. Just kind of make your hair a little bigger and um, your makeup a little darker and you've got that look. I wouldn't necessarily, if you're going to add a darker lip, I don't know that I would add a darker blush. But let's say that I instead had decided to go with kind of a neutral, not necessarily a nude, just a little more neutral, not so bright as a, as a red or, a, or this kind of um, burgundy red. Um, then I would say maybe the, the added touch that, um, that you do is a blush. And um, I'm not going to do that in this particular look because... I've got a very strong lip and eye. So this is a very dressy look now. Uh, this would be almost a New Year's look because of the Stila product. And um, again, this is the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. And this one is Molten Midnight. And I really do like this for an evening look. I used it for a stage look when I sang. Just because when the bright lights hit, you know, it's a, it's a bit of sparkle. Now, here is the one thing I will tell you about this product. Once this dried, I did have fallout. And I mean just wearing it and blinking. Once the glitter dried, it fell out. And people said, well, you could have used glitter glue. And I'm like, yeah, well, I could have not. And that's the whole point of the product is why do I have to go buy glitter glue? Why doesn't this just stay on? So that's the only thing that I would say about it is that it does have fallout. Not immediately when you put it on. It's nice and wet. It's when it dries. And then some of the glitter does fall off. And it kind of gets right here. So just if you're out and about in the evening, just make sure that you kind of double check in your compact you know, break from the table and just, you know, kind of make sure that there's no fallout. But other than that, do you guys like it? Do y'all think it's pretty? I think it's pretty. I hope y'all like my ideas. And I hope you're doing very well. Um, one of the things, I just did a Bethy Bible devotion that I devoted, that I uploaded right before this one. And then I am going to do a plan with me, which I hadn't done in a while. And I really am enjoying this one because it has Louis Vuitton stickers. And the plan with me. So even if you don't like plan with me, man, stick with this one. It's going to be great. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And I actually am going to cut this short um, because I need to get on that. And then I need to start working on some stuff for tomorrow. I'm only five minutes. Are you joking me?
Are you joking? Oh, I need to talk about something else. I've been putting together some items for spring giveaway. Y'all know I like to make my seasonal uh, giveaways, or I like to make sure that my giveaways have a theme. And so this is going to be spring. And I think you're going to like it. I've already got some great ideas on some really awesome stuff that's going to be in it. So that video will be coming up. I'm not finished with putting it all together. Like sometimes when I do hauls, I'll show y'all stuff and I'll think, I'm going to put that in the next giveaway. But sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's going to be a complete surprise. I don't know. Um, I'm very tempted to show you one of the items. But I'm not. Not right now. So anyway, I hope you like this look. I went ahead and put my glasses on. So for those of you who wear glasses, you can see that this even shows through your glasses. Um, and so y'all comment below and let me know if there's a certain kind of makeup look that you want me to show you. Like how to do makeup with glasses, but yeah, I do that. You know, I saw someone else do that once, and I thought, well, you know, it's just put makeup with glasses and then put your glasses on. Um, and I guess there's some people who would argue, well, there's a certain way to do it just to make sure it shows through your glasses, but um, I would say that you probably need a little bit darker colors on your lid or crease, but you don't have to. I mean, you are who you are with your glasses on, and so I don't know that I would change it that much just because you wear glasses. I do now. And, um, I don't do anything special, even with my eyelashes. Sometimes they actually touch the glass and I have to clean it all day long. But that's okay. I'm not going to change it. Mm -hmm. oh. I do have to say one more thing. I have so been enjoying this candle. Summer, bleh, summer Scoop by Yankee Candle. And it's like summer ice cream. What are the notes? Does it ever say... You know, it used to say, I mean, it actually used to say on the candle, so I'm kind of confused about why it doesn't do that anymore. But anyway, this is part of the house warmer series. Oh. The style, you know, usually it's the big jar oh. one. But anyway, um, this smell is so great for spring and summer. It's got a strong vanilla to it, but it also has a pop of berry and just, oh my gosh, it does. It smells like you should be eating some ice cream. But anyway, I absolutely, I think this is my favorite all-time candle, and they were getting rid of it. So let's just all pound the doors of, of uh, Yankee Candle. Not pound the doors, but, you know, like, go there. Everybody go there and say, we want Summer Scoop. We want Summer Scoop. Do it. If we get it back, I'll be like, that was me. That was me. You tell them something. Somebody's go get Summer Scoop. Okay. Okay, so that's all. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and my next one will be on... Um, play with me's and then I'm also going to show you I ordered like mm, seven new sticker kits and oh my gosh all of them are so cute all of them have to do with fashion and spring and beautiful colors and that's what's so fun about it you know and I use an Erin Condren but you don't have to use an Erin Condren planner to use stickers y'all so anyway I hope y'all enjoyed it and I love you so much and I'm going to let you go and I need your ideas on my new set for one thing, it's going to be lighter back here. I don't like this color anymore. And I've enjoyed this, but that's going to be gone. I do like the candles and fresh flowers in the background, which I know YouTube always has that, but I do enjoy that. Uh, look, and I want your ideas. What do you think the set should look like? Give me ideas. Uh -huh. Not just a curtain. Uh -huh. Give me real ideas. All right, you guys. I love you so much, and I'll see you in my next video.